Hi there, I'm James Moore, and this is an Ideal Calibrations How to Fix a Gas Monitor video. What we've got here is a BW Gas Alert Micro, and there's a bit of a story here. What basically happened is the sensor was slowly but surely exposed to a lead based compound, which basically poisoned the LEL sensor. So when, we, when it came in, it, it was unfortunately, it had run the sensitivity up. And so what happens is, basically, when a sensor is put in like a, a lead based environment like that where it's slowly poisoned over time and it's still on a calibration schedule what happens is every time it sees LEL gas it's seeing a less and less amount of it which the monitor compensates for and it jacks the sensitivity up because it's seeing it slowly when the gas drops it jacks the sensitivity up really slowly over time now in all gas detectors what there is there's a window of opportunity or, or that it'll let it calibrated on a threshold. So basically, let's say uh, it, we've, it's looking for 50% LEL on there. If we stuck 80% LEL gas on there, it would toss it out and say, hey, this, this value is too much. Or if we put 10% LEL gas, it would say, hey, this is too little, and throw an error, and it won't calibrate to such a value. But what happens over time, if you slowly do it, let's say you calibrate to 50%, and then 47%, and then 45%, and so on and so on, all the way down to 20%, then it will actually accept 20%. There's a, there's a lower limit threshold on a lot of gas monitors that'll stop that from going too, too low. But in some cases, you see things like this monitor that we've had brought in here. And what's happened with this monitor is that it's gotten to the point where we're going to try and cal it, and I'm going to show you it's going to fail. Now, this is a totally new LEL sensor. We just installed this uh, yesterday, actually. So I'm going to put this on here. Remember to always open the regulator before you put it on. When you hear gas, turn it off. And we've got BW normal span gas on here. 25 parts, 100 parts, 2.5, and 18. Okay, that's 25 H2S, 100 CO, 2.5 methane, which is 50% LEL, and 18 oxygen. So, watch what happens. First, press and hold the two buttons here at the bottom. This puts it in the cal mode. It's going to go through an auto zero procedure here. When it's done, it's going to pop up and show us the calibration window. So now, screw this into your monitor here, screw the cal cup on, got everything connected, now turn your gas on. Now watch the LEL value. See how high it's jumping? It's in the lower right hand corner. And boom, over range. Now, you'll notice the other sens sensors are just fine. Uh, they, were, they weren't poisoned that way. But that overrange means it's going to toss out that LEL calibration. Even though we're using the right gas, it's new new gas, we've got a new sensor in that we just bought, uh, April date code, and it's going to overrange it. It's not going to calibrate. So there goes the error. It's actually going to ditch that entire value. So now it's going to drop it, and now it's only going to calibrate the H2S and the CO. You're screwed. Now, how do you, you? You've done everything you can. You've bought this new sensor. Now, the only thing left, you, you might think, is sending it in to Honeywell and saying, "Hey, we don't know what's wrong with this, or is it a board error?" Well, it's not a board error. What it is, is it's a software error. But there's no way to really fix it through the monitor settings. You can't tell it, "Hey, reset to just how you came from the factory." You've got to actually go through a process and give it. And normally, this costs a lot of money. I'm going to show you guys a quick trick on how to fix it. Or you can send it to us and we'll, we can fix it for you real quick if, uh, for the cost of uh, what two calibrations, basically. But here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to actually ditch this calibration because there's no reason for us to go through with this thing here. Now, just doing this because we're kind of under time pressure making a video here. Normally you don't do this. And let's see if we can speed it up. Keep falling, keep falling. Yep, yep, error out. Thank you. Come on, keep dropping. There we go, that's what we wanted. Yep, thank you. Okay, now we'll go back out in normal operating mode. Let us sit. Okay, so what we done, let's disconnect that Cal gas cylinder. Okay, now this is a, a cylinder of MSA gas. 
20 parts per million, 60 parts per million, uh, 20 H2S, 60 CO, 1.45% methane, and that's going to be important, and 15% oxygen, that's not important. This methane, 1.45% methane is important here. What MSA does is they have a pentane calibration standard built into their monitors. And in order to calibrate that, you use 58% LEL pentane. But they don't use actual pentane. You might have seen in my other videos how much I compliment MSA on this. They actually use methane, and they just put the pentane calibration curve in there. And what that value is, is 29% LEL methane. So that 1.45% corresponds to 29% LEL methane, but it's 58% pentane on that curve. So what we're doing is instead of calibrating using the 50% LEL methane, which is overranging the sensor and it's tossing it out, we're going to calibrate it using 29% LEL methane and we're going to tell the monitor that it's 50% LEL methane. And what we're going to do is we're going to just clip the bottom of that curve that it's in there. We're going to give it a value that's about here so it moves it down to here so that our other value that was way up here out of range, that's going to get moved down too. So we're going we're gonna to move that curve. And so here's how we're going to do it. First steps, press and hold the two side buttons, it'll go into an options menu. No, usually it really does. Okay, there we go. Kind of glad they discontinued this monitor, I hate the buttons on this. So we're going to go up, we're going to turn off our CO and our H2S sensor, there's CO, toggle it off, CO sensor is off. Now we're going to toggle off the H2S. Boom. Now you'll notice we just have our LEL sensor and our O2 left. That's fine. So, open our regulator up, plug it into the H2S sensor. And you might be saying, hey, we don't have H2S Cal gas on site. Uh, or we don't have MSA Cal gas on site, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, if you have any other Cal gas, you could even buy from a, a gas blending manufacturer uh, like a 25% LEL methane or a 29% LEL methane mix. Those will both work just fine. Um, but a lot of people have MSA gas, so you might know somebody with an MSA gas cylinder sitting around and that you can use for this. But, you know, or you can send it to me, uh, shoot me an email, james at idealcalibrations.com, and I'll do it for you. Okay, hold the bottom two buttons here. Gonna send it into zero mode. And by the way, I'm taking a chance here that <laughs> this will catch it. I might need a lower value, but usually the MSA value will do it just fine. Okay, here we go. Sometimes you have to start off a bit lower than 29% LEL. Sometimes you have to start at about 13. Ready? Now remember how fast the other one shot up. And it went past over 100. Now you notice the monitor is compensating. It's dragging the number down. See, as the gas goes up, it drags it right back down. Because what happened here before it was it was w way overly sensitive. So now we're dragging that curve down. It's getting more and more gas in there, and every time the gas value pushes the number up, the monitor curve is actually moving it back down a bit. Note, now it's saying, hey, this span value is kind of weird. Uh, it's a pretty big adjustment you're making here. But that's a good thing because it means the monitor just accepted that curve and it moved the sensitivity down from where it used to be. That's a great thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say turn this gas off. We're going to accept the calibration. That calibration is great for us. Take our cal cup off. Okay, nope, Cal adjusted. Now it's going to go through the alarms. We don't care, so I exit out of that. Okay, now it's in alarm mode. So, now it's, it's upset with us. It's fine. Press the button. It'll be quiet. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to turn our other sensors back on. Press the two buttons here on the side. We're in our options menu. Toggle your H2S sensor back on. 
Actually, that's off. Now let's turn the CEO, or not the CEO. I really haven't finished my first cup of coffee today. Turn our CO sensor back on. There we go. Okay, now I exit out. Okay, we're back at normal. Let's get this MSA gas out of here. Or MSA gas value, it's not really their gas. We blended it. Okay, open this up before it goes in. By the way, we didn't we didn't push any gas in there, it still hasn't pushed the piston down. There we go. Now it's open. Close her back up. Now put this into calibration mode. Wait for it. Okay, now it's looking for the cow gas. Put this on here. Okay, and turn our gas on. Okay, watch the value. See that LEL value shooting up? 72, 74, 76. Come on. There it goes. Walk it. Look, look at it. Bring it back down. Oh, moment of extreme anticipation there on my part. Man, thought it wouldn't work for a second. And look at it. See how it drags it back down? That's because we've lowered that curve enough that it was still an acceptable value. When it hits over 100% LEL, the monitor automatically turns that sensor off, stops delivering power to it because it thinks it's in an explosive environment and he doesn't want to hurt it, doesn't want to damage anything around it. But now that we drag that curve down using the MSA cal gas over here, the 29% LEL, what we've done is we've opened that that uh, opened the range a bit for it, just enough to just barely get this gas in here and drag it down enough so that way we can calibrate it. So now you'll see, we'll put this back down here. And we're going to let it finish calibrating this time. Now, if you guys have any questions, I, I apologize. My, my phone has been off the hook lately, and I haven't been so good with phone calls. So uh, if you can, if you have any questions about this or any other videos or you need some help or a rental unit or a repair unit or anything like that, email me. My email address is james at idealcalibrations.com. Or you can get to our contact form on our website, www.idealcalibrations.com. So, just as a warning, uh, the phones are just off the hook, and uh, I'm a real small business here, so getting back to everybody is just unfortunately very hectic, so just bear with me. Email works really great for me and is a real help if you can talk with me on there. We can schedule a call or something if you need me to walk you through something. But it's still calibrating there. drink a coffee here. Okay. Span values accepted. Pretty cool, huh? So now we're going to turn the gas off. Yes, it said it's an unusually large span, but that's okay. Check that the cal gas is acceptable. I know that cal gas is acceptable. Heck, my father blended it. Except Cal? Yes. Spans accepted. So now you've taken that sensor that wasn't working before, and instead of having to send it out for repair work or anything along those lines, with this simple one MSA cylinder that you might have laying around or somebody else has got can lend you, you were able to fix everything on your own. So feel free, if you guys have any questions, give shoot me an email james at idealcalibration.com I'd be happy to help you out there thanks you guys have a great day stay safe out there